what's up? What's up? In this video, we're going to show you how to uh, turn 4,700. So that's the uh, available cash right now. 4,700 hours into 25k plus in a matter of just a few trades. The trade we're interested in this morning is why why we have actually posted a video breaking down the trade, and now we're going to show you the execution of the trade. So let's go. Let's pull up uh, the strike that we're interested in. Option chain right here, and we're interested in buying some of these uh, 95 strike. Currently, the stock trades about uh, 103, so I'm going to try to pull the trigger. Get some of these right here. So buy, I'm going to try to buy about uh, 40 of them at. Uh, let's see, uh, I'm going to try to get this water field at about uh, 45 cents. Let's see if we can get this done right here, guys. Okay, no lock at 45 cents. We'll go up to 50 cents, see if we can get this done. Partially filled. Partially filled. Okay, so we've got some. Let's see. Uh, how many did we get? Water filled. All right, done. Okay, so we bought 40 YY puts. Uh, basically, uh, still got about 2,500 remaining. Uh, this is how the trade looks. Currently trading at uh, 102.85. Okay, that makes sense. Um, all right, so 95s, basically... Nobody's buying them besides me, apparently. Um, and let's see if we can maybe get a 96 here for a dollar. 98 strike for a dollar. So let's um, go ahead and try to get some more of these. Why, why? I'm going to have to uh, most likely swing trade this, guys. Um, let's go ahead and pull up the strike that we want. So the 98... Uh, let's buy about 10 of these so we can buy them for about uh, 90 cents. Water filled. Done. Okay, so 98 puts bought more. So uh, we got about uh, 50 contracts of YY. Let's see if we can add some more here. No. Water filled. Okay, done. So, all right, so we got. Uh, Altogether, 56 contracts of YY. Still got about 1130 bucks remaining, guys. What were you the straight shortly? Expecting a full-blown move 11 or two formation on this. Uh, we'll find out shortly. Let's roll. All right, guys. It's 1126. And on our YY position, we're making uh, 1700 bucks in the 95 strikes. So we're making 2000 bucks in the 98 strike. Basically, this is how it looks on the chart. Let's take a quick look right here. As far as the chart concerned, had a nice little flush from the 103 level all the way to 98. Now, the stock is stolen out, but it is happening at the right timing of the day, which pretty much gives us a 99.9 .9 probability that we will hit 95 at some point by the end of the trading session today. As you can see, uh, right now is November 17th, 11.27. Still got three hours, four hours in 33 minutes in a straight session so we've got plenty of time probably going to go into a little bit of a sideway action and we're going to make another leg lower now the crucial aspect of this trade at that point the move 11 will be completed the question is are we going to get some extra sell volume on the sell side and therefore can we actually dip below yesterday's close if that does take place we're going to partake in a beautiful move to formation and those are the trades that get you paid like a rock star. So if you're not sure how to identify the moves, maybe you understand some moves, but not all the moves. Maybe you've been able to identify some of the moves by watching this free YouTube videos here. But if you're really trying to take your trading guys to the next level, as you can see, this trade didn't take a whole lot of time. And things were looking rather bullish because the earnings report was bullish. Uh, because a lot of things, they're, they're collecting $3.6 billion by selling uh, a unit of the company that's not growing as fast as they want it to and allows them to focus on high growth. So all the news that have been released, highly positive. That's why the stock gapped up substantially higher. But within that, it created the greatest shorting opportunities that the stock has shown us in the last few months. So uh, to learn to be able to identify these things, guys, understanding of the moves is crucial, but also check out the upcoming course, which is 13 entries and exits, guys. It's going to break down every single little detail of the intraday time frames and specifically what are the best time frames of the day to get in into some of these trades, either on the bull side or the bear side, guys. So click the link below, get more info, schedule a 20-minute coaching call, guys, and we'll follow up on this trade shortly, 11-29, November 17th.
Why why is trading that 98? Let's roll. Alright guys, so we're not getting a move to formation, so it's time to part with the trade as we hit our uh, time frame for the day for an exit. So it's time to actually get out right here, right now. Alright guys, so could have been an amazing trade that could have gotten the account uh, 25, 30k, but the move formation has not played out as a move to it played out as a move 11 so it's time to move on to the next trade so we started with uh, 4k the count is at 86.53 uh, let's move on let's uh, rock and find the next killer trade here guys here's the next trade we're going to take we're going to buy uh, 3600 strike puts um, on uh, actually 3605 that's fine let's buy those okay 1275 Let's buy some more. All right, we'll see if we can add just a little bit more to the position on the bounce here. Sure, the bounce is 13 market move style. Okay, so we got that order filled, guys. So officially now, we're holding 13 contracts, 3605 strike, and we're holding one contract at 3600 strike. I'm going to review this trade shortly. Right now it is 2.02 p.m. on November 17, 2020. Can we finish this day with 25k plus or will we have to wait till tomorrow? Let's find out. All right, guys, so we're making a little bit of money here. We actually are going to go ahead and collect some gains here. So we're going to sell this one at market at 11.25 that's fine we're going to sell these at market as well get out of this position because we think gold is about to break uh substantially lower so the account now is at 93.50 just made a little bit of progress here and we are going to go up to this gold trade right here so uh we're going to buy let's see just buy one at market see what kind of feel we're going to get here real quick Six point five. All right, let's buy some more. All right, let's glance at the chart of gold real quick. So gold eighteen eighty three. Been watching this level all freaking day. I do want to buy more. All right, so we got uh, fourteen gold future splits right here, uh, and I think uh, we can sell them for thirteen bucks. So got, and all we need to do is just see we'll drop from here to about uh, eighteen sixty eight. Strong support in gold is at about 1850. So this actually makes it for an easy trade right here, guys. About 15 point drop. There it is. It's beginning to drop. Let me bring up the chart right here for you. So it's been holding this level the entire day. We've been watching it super closely. I jumped in earlier, lost about 1200 bucks on this, but now we're going to get it all back plus a lot more. So shooting here for about 8 9k gain. Within the next couple of hours, you can see right now is uh, 342. So we're likely to keep this position overnight. Uh, but uh, in the next, uh, maybe by 6, 7 o'clock at night, guys, we may be able to cash out some substantial gains here. So we'll review this trade shortly. Let's go. 13 market moves. Catching an easy trade on gold on the flip side. Guys, I'm buying one more gold put here. Uh, trying to get it for about 1.6. Let's see if we get a, a fill here. Now, way out of the money, about uh, 30 bucks out of the money. They don't want to sell it, which is a good sign. So let's go ahead and raise the price to about 1.7 on this. 1850 strike on gold. We got it at $1.70. So we own a total of uh, 15 gold puts, about 32 bucks out of the money. But considering we're breaking for a key level, which uh, gold has struggled with maintaining the last couple of days here. I think we can get a, a decent size move, like meaning like 10, 15 points. So you can see the ones we were buying a few minutes ago for like 6.5, 6.6, and now they're going for about 7, 7, 6, 7, 7. Um, you can see the chart is breaking lower. There it is. Boom. I caught it. Done. So we may be able to cash out here, guys, shortly in the next uh, 15 minutes. There it is, 1878. 13 market moves, baby. You got to know your moves, guys. Otherwise, 
You're going to miss some crazy trades. It's all about entries and exits. There's about 13 of them intraday. And if you study them and you know them and you understand them, you have the discipline and the balls to execute on. The sky's the limit, guys. Hey guys, good morning, November 18th, 5.57 a.m. And we've been slowly scaling out of this gold position that we opened yesterday. It's got the last five contracts out of the 14 that we bought yesterday. So uh, they're currently going for about 11 bucks. As you can see, we've been scaling out, sold some of the 8.1, 9.7. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and see if we can sell this for just 11 bucks. Because we think the move in gold pretty much stalled out here. You want to end boom done sold sold last five contracts at 11 bucks right here guys and so the account is at 13.789 yesterday we started about 4k so uh 4k to 13.789 so far and what we're interested in doing at this point we want to go ahead and short the s p 500 futures uh, one more time so we're gonna go however with this time i'm gonna go and look at this um 36 uh, 15 strike that's what we want to do 36 15 strike on s p 500 and then uh, we're going to break down the charts quickly. So uh, November 2020, I want to go with today's expiration, which is uh, the 18th of November. So boom, here it is. Uh, we want to buy puts. And we want to go with the 36, 36, 15 strike. Okay. Uh, let's buy them right now. Let's start buying five, see what kind of feel we can get right here. Okay, done. What are that? 1075. Not bad. Let's go ahead and buy uh, five more. I think we're going to get a pretty quick error. So, bought four more. Okay, so all together, guys, we've got 30 contracts of SP 500 futures that expired today. Calculating the market to actually get weak right, uh, right around this level, guys. It's been kind of a tough level for the market. Uh, right around here, it's been stalling out every time it hits uh, 3618, 3620. I missed the perfect entry just a few minutes ago uh, because I was still uh, trading gold right here. Uh, but now we're entirely out of the gold position. We're expecting the relationship to reverse based off the 13 market smooth formula. We think gold is going to start moving higher and S&P 500 is going to drop off. Now, it doesn't mean that gold by the end of the week is not going to visit this 1850 level that we mentioned yesterday. We think that's actually going to happen. But in the meantime, just for the purpose of trading, 6 a.m., November 18th, 6.02 a.m., uh, we think we're going to get a revisit of this 3600 level. We're going to review this trade shortly, guys. Let's rock. 13 market moves. Let's do this. EODK getting a pop. Hey, guys. What's up? We're actually going to have to sell this uh, position in SNP for now and uh, just close it out. So we'll sell it at market. TOMZ, for a small game. Mental Solutions reports issuance of first Australian patent protecting use of ionized hydrogen peroxide technology. That's All right, Angelica, sold them at Lou. 650. Mine them at like 5.5 overall. Still holding uh, 20 of these contracts right here. So we're going to go ahead and sell these guys. It's 9.33 a.m. So uh, S&P 500 did drop, but not quite as much as uh, we uh, wanted to. Opened up at about the same levels it closed yesterday. So uh, not a whole lot going on. Slow moving market. Uh, but... Uh, I think we got some really crazy opportunities in gold and oil today, so we're going to focus on that. It's 9.33 a.m., November 18th, so locking it, uh, locking some gains here. Let's go ahead and uh, sell these, see if we can get some market uh, orders right here. Let's just go ahead and get out right now while it's dropping a little bit. Locking some gains, 13.35, we're buying it, the average cost was 10.85, so just tiny gains, tiny gains, but uh, the account is moving uh, slightly higher. So basically, let's go ahead and lock it in. Let's just close this out, move on, move on to new trades, guys. Let's go. Okay, not a great uh, feel, but still made a little bit of money extra, close to three grand here. So the account now is at 16589, and here we are looking at the next trade. 9.34 a.m. 1875s, 1880 puts, that's what we're going to do. Guys, we're going to uh, get in these uh, gold puts right here. Gold puts futures uh, November 2020. I like the 1880 strike right here. 1880 on gold puts. Uh, they are expiring 
on the 20th, which is two days from today. Uh, let's rock. Uh, I want to go ahead and buy, uh, let's see, five of them. Let's see if we can get average cost of what, 10.5. Let's go. Okay, they don't want to sell at 10.5. Let's increase this to 10.7. No. Okay, 10.7. We got some right here. So we bought five gold and 10.7 and be done. Okay, 10.8. So we got 15 gold puts. We bought it at 2.7. Okay, so 1855s. We own two of those. We bought them at 2.7. And so we're going to go ahead and set some limit orders here. Uh, cool little trade here on gold. We're going to follow up on this shortly. Move 3 slash 11 on gold. Get your moves, guys, at 13marketmoves.com. Click the link below. Let's roll. We'll review the trade shortly. So uh, now we're making 1674 bucks on gold. Not a huge deal, but uh, we're noticing a trade that we kind of like that we want to take right now. So uh, we're actually going to sell... About five gold puts right here. Make sure I'm getting the distance field. So since we've gotten in, it popped, it dropped, it did uh, intraday move 11 formation, guys. And it's stolen out at this level. We just want to diversify our position, basically, um, 8 and 80. I mean, they're more than what we paid for them. So we're making some money. And 11. Okay, now we got filled at 11.3. So collect 5600 bucks, And uh, we want to go ahead um, and... Okay, guys, so we are going to go ahead and buy some of these S&P 500 puts that are expiring today. They're significantly underpriced in relation to the size of the move that could be happening over the course of the next uh, two hours and 40 minutes here. So one today's expiration, which is the 18th, we want 3,600 strike. I could easily drop below that. 3,600, come on, come on, come on, come on. 3,600 puts, let's go. All right, we want to buy them. Want to buy uh, probably 20 of them? Let's see. Just get in buy them at market. Let's get this done. What a sell. Done. 235. Okay. So still got about uh, 32 here. The potential, these could be worth like 8 to 10 bucks. So we're targeting like a 4 to 1, 5 to 1 type trade here. We'll go ahead and buy some more. So, yeah, trying to buy 20 more at market right now. Get this done. Let's rock and roll here. It takes skill to figure out when options are actually underpriced. And it always has to be in relation to the size of the move. That's the only way you can understand the time frame, the relation to the size of the move, and when could the chart actually reverse. So, we're at 3609. On S&P right now, we think we could get in the next hour, uh, two hours and 40 minutes, we can get about an 18-point move lower, getting us to about uh, 35 90 which make these options worth easily about eight, nine bucks. We're paying 230 for them, so to me, it's highly justified. And so let me go ahead and finish building this position out. So we're carrying about uh, where are we here? Okay, so we're carrying about 40 contracts right now. We're gonna buy some more. So about uh, six more. Let's see when we get that done. Squint. We'll just get them at market. That's fine. Uh, I mean, the spread is not high. You don't want to necessarily buy at market when the spread is ridiculous. So see, those were buying at 250. And we we'll probably still buy like a couple more. We we'll certainly buy like one more. So I'll just go ahead and buy it. Our average cost is... Uh, so 255 on these. Okay, so we're making 775 position is 47 contracts. And consider we're trading spy. It's no no biggie. We can get rid of this position all at once. Uh, or I may change that slightly depending on how the trade is developing. So what we want to do at this point is uh, basically um, 8 bucks is where we could potentially cash out. So 7.75. I mean, it could do a little bit better than that, but we just want to go ahead and uh, get that in there, guys. And so let's roll. It's about, about 3 to 1. Now, it's been a bit conservative, I think, but uh, the market's just a, such a slow mover. But it's about to make that move lower. So let me bring this uh, S&P 500 futures right now. Glad I got everybody in the Tesla uh, calls today. Tesla is making a wild move. And when Tesla makes a wild move higher, there's no reason, all right? You certainly don't want to short 
that thing, what you want to do is you want to buy the hell out of Tesla calls. So, glad we just bought a bunch of those. And, uh, guys, for the purpose of this smaller size account, because we've just shown you how to take 4K to 25K plus in just a matter of a few trades. And, by the way, uh, we're currently, if we were to cash out, we're about 17K. We're at 17K. Um, but we're holding gold puts and we're holding spy puts right now. And uh, it's 1.23, 1.23 p.m. on November 18th. Guys, we're going to review the straight shortly. And uh, finally, uh, some things are moving. So uh, let's go. 13 mark move style. We're going to show you how to take this account. Probably 30K by the end of the day. Let's roll. All right, guys, so just to help everyone sort of get a visual of why we did things and how we did things and why the hell I pressed a certain button here and I didn't. And bottom line, focus on this chart right here. So we lightened up on the gold trade right here. Now, notice I didn't sell everything. So if you don't understand what stair stepping is, some people, you know, should really pay close attention to the stair stepping part because that's what's going to separate those guys that are going to take 4K to 25K and the guys that are going to be always wondering, how the fuck does he do it? So here it is, guys. I've lightened up on the position after the stock tried multiple efforts. Not not the stock in this case. Uh, gold futures tried multiple efforts to break a certain level, which coincides just under this level right here. And after it failed to do it on like the fourth attempt, okay, um, I lightened up. I sold five, and I've put it in the opposite side of the top of trade, which was S and P 500 futures. Now this is you know remember when we did that about four minutes ago. So by doing that and allocating five grand from this trade into this one, okay, this is how the account looks right now. So we're making 3,600. Now remember, I just invested like roughly five grand into this trade to help you understand how the hell is this possible in four minutes. Okay, just watch this. Okay, we're buying this 3,600 strike puts on S&P 500 futures. We're paying two dollars and thirty cents now they're going for 345, 360. Now remember, we do have a limit order sitting there. In the event we get closer to a level, which is just about 12 points under where we're currently trading, about 12, 13 points lower. If we get there, we should be able to collect about 8 bucks, which is going to be 3, 4x the money. We're definitely going to put the account above 25, possibly 30k. So stay tuned, guys. And if I'm talking too fast, damn right, I'm getting calls right and left here. We're trading like rock stars here. And if you'd like to join our community, a simple way to start, simply click the link below this video. I know you've been watching a lot of these videos, okay? And so if you're not identifying trades like this, guys, it's time to take action. Life is too short. Make it happen. Click the link now. Damn it, do it. Learn to trade. Let's roll. Hey, guys, a simple move. Diverse fine based off of one of the 13 market moves gets you making 12K. Well, 11, 9, 10 is just a matter of a few minutes. So here it is. We're actually going to uh, cash out on some of these. So we're going to put a market order to sell about 27 of them uh, right now. So we're going to liquidate uh, just a bit more than half of the position. Let's sell, sell, sell. Uh, six and a quarter. All right. So locked in some gains, guys. So now the account is officially at 29K. So if you look right here, net liquidity, 29K. Now we do have still the position on gold, uh, which is currently making 2700 bucks. And at this point, we've got 20 contracts on S&P 500. Up uh, 20k for the day, and guys, the truth is, you can do it. Is you know, the market is barely freaking moving, so you gotta get the moves. Okay, oftentimes people ask me, Well, hey, but the 13 market moves they only work if the market moves like crazy. If there's like volatility, guys, the volatility has been diving every day lower and lower. As you can see, guys, the moves will make you the money if you understand the freaking moves. So, we just bought these what 47. Uh, puts at what 230 average cost 238 cost right here. We just sold them for six and some change So that's 3x 3x the money guys. So we're still holding 20 of them and this side looks on the chart, right? So we're jumping in right here. We're at about 3606 as you can see now with 35 3598 we're cashing out right here. We're probably at about 3597 so there's still a chance we're gonna visit that that level we described earlier like 3592 3590 Okay, so we're going to hold on the other 20 contracts uh, in that position. Now, gold, gold is at 1871. We think tomorrow can hit 1850. So we're still holding on to that position for that reason, guys. Now, with that said, we're going to review the trades. And it is 
1, 59 p.m. on November 18th. What's it going to be? Leonard, can you take this account to 50 grand today? Let me see how good your moves are. going to sell some more of these uh, spy puts right now we're going to sell like uh let's see i actually want to sell like maybe uh five more of them okay at uh market so let's go ahead and knock that out let's sell them at market 10 8 that's not bad not bad so we're making 15k on spy in the last uh yeah, last 50 minutes or so so uh let's rock and roll we're making 25 3 26 3 okay let's go let's sell some more let's sell some more let's keep selling some of these spy puts right here so let's go ahead and sell some more stair stepping out stair stepping out 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 sell market let's roll Order filled. filled 12 25 let's go sell some more sell 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 uh let's sell five more with market Fuck it, let's sell it. Order filled. Eleven five. All right, so that's on average about five six hundred percent return. So we still got five contracts left here. Eighteen eighty. So thirteen. We can get rid of them at thirteen. 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 Let's go. Uh, we got an order sitting at uh, sixteen. So thirteen point one. Let's see if we can just go ahead and do that. Done. 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 Order filled. Order filled. So uh, now we got cash twenty eight thousand zero eighty four. We started with four k roughly yesterday. The account is at uh, net thirty four k. Guys, that's how we do it. Thirteen market move style. Yeah, two 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 uh, contracts right here. Let's go ahead and sell them. Sell them. Um, I'm just going to sell them at market. Uh, it's a position. Sell them at market. Let's go. Sell. We're making money. Let's go. Order partially filled. 12.9, that's fine. Order filled. All right, fine. Order filled. So maybe now they're going to let us buy some uh, puts. Now the account is over 25K officially at 36.59. Still holding uh, still holding some uh, spy uh, puts, uh, S&P 500 uh, futures puts right here. So let's go ahead and just sell them, sell them, sell, sell, sell. Position 5 at market. Let's go. Order filled. Filled. 10 5. Let's go. Done. Done and done. 33K. 4K to 33K, guys. If you'd like to know how you can put together some trades like this over the course of 48 hours, taking 4K to 33 to 77. Now, you're probably wondering how can you do that? Or maybe you're sitting there saying, God damn that Leonardo fucking does it again. So stop saying that. Learn how the fuck to do it yourself. Click the link below. Let's go. Take another trade real quick. 
33k guys we're gonna take this count to 40k right now so uh buy 10 more 10 more 10 more of these uh 35 90 puts at market 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 let's just get them things are moving like crazy so let's just make sure we buy them water filled okay water filled at 230 so we could potentially uh double that real quick and uh let's go ahead and buy 10 more market water filled Okay, good. Uh, so we are at 29.737. So uh, this is how the market looks right now. We're at uh, 35.97. Looks like the market is bouncing, but hey, about to drop like a rock right here. Look at that why, YY why, trade uh, that was talked that, about. Uh, Money waters, uh, negative report, short report, hitting a low of 79.16. Yankee Yankee seeing the February 85 call sweep on YY. Uh, shares of Tesla hitting new highs. Tesla up. Both of these were our alerts today, high. guys. Tesla, Tesla calls 500 strike. YY, we're buying puts at 95 and 100 strike. Our, our different account, guys. So, look. We posted this video on YY. 48 hours ago suggesting that after the earnings report when the stock pops to short it well it popped to 108 right now the stock is at 79 guys you could have made a fortune hey some of you could have paid cash for your house with the stray guys if you're not doing that you need to click the link below and take action right now So we shorted the bounce on the spot. This is how it looks on the chart. Basically, when we bounced right here, we bought 40 uh, S&P 500 futures puts, and we're making 2,100 bucks on that. So got a limit order set to sell some of them at six and a quarter. So we actually about to change that. What we're gonna do is uh, just sell 20 of them at that 20. We think the market could easily hit uh, a level about uh, 2580, 2580, 2584. So we should be able to get in that event about 8.5 on the other 20. So six and a quarter and 25.8. Let's go set the limit order to sell these. So I got uh, one order limit order to sell them at six and a quarter. The other one at uh, 8.5. We were buying them at an average cost of about 2.3. And this is how it looks now. We're bouncing strongly right now. So, uh, our weather still get a strong, sharp move lower because it's only 3.08 p.m. We got uh, over an hour. Well, on these futures, we only got about uh, 50 minutes to sell these. But on the SPY, if we're trading SPY, we're going to handle over an hour. So, anyways, uh, we're expecting a sharp move lower to a level of 35.80, 35.84 in the next uh, 45 minutes here. And that's when we're going to cash out. That's why I got those limit orders sitting there. Uh, let's go. Hey, guys. What's up? What's up? So, uh, actually losing $1,811 on this buy position in the uh, 35.90 strike. Uh, now, here, here's the reason why. Okay, so I didn't close the position when it dipped here because my calculation was going to drop to 35.84. So on the bounce, when it was rocketing higher uh, just a couple of minutes ago, I actually went ahead and added some more. So here's the execution price, as you can see. So I bought uh, five at 115. I bought five more at one dollar ten. Five more at dollar ten. Five more at dollar thirty-five. Five more at dollar fifty. Five more at dollar seventy-five. So. The average cost now, as you can see, I own 70 contracts here. Average price at $1.89. We're still on target. Potential sell is at six and a quarter to eight fifty, right around that level. Now this may have to be adjusted as there's only 42 minutes left in this trading session. So what it's gonna be, Leo? How good are you? 13 market moves. Let's find out. So far, this is what we got on the chart. Bounce, drop, bounce. 13 market moves formula points to a severe move six drop literally we're going to lose 20 points in the next 42 minutes off trading as you can see it's november 18th 3 18 p.m and 48 seconds and we could be losing about 20 points on s p 500 so now we're back to 30 
35.96.75 or on 35.90 for these puts to actually be profitable. This move would have to literally come in in the next 30 minutes to drop below 35.90. Is it actually going to happen, Leo? Whoa, you losing a thousand, man? I mean, it don't look that bad considering you just made 14 and two and five and 2600. But do you really? I mean, is this thing really? You really think this shit's gonna drop below 35.90? How good is the 13 market move formula? Let's find out. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. 3, 19 p.m., November 18th. Can you take this account to 50K in the next 41 minutes? All right, guys, and it is 3.29 p.m., November 18th, and this is where the fun begins, guys. 35.91, so shorten the bounce, guys. If you don't have a clue how to short the bounce, you're missing some killer, killer opportunities in this market. So with this said, okay, on 70 counters, guys, we're now making five grand, officially 29K up for the day. The count is at 38.3K. Is that liquidity were to sell all these, the market value would be extra 12 Five on top of the 26653 in cash that we've got there right now. So, official making 5600 daily profit 3246 Guys, now, where are we actually going to exit the trade? So, this is where things get really, really fun because we can get another 10-point move lower and therefore, we actually readjusted our strike price just slightly at 8 and a quarter and 11, uh, at 8.5 and 11 and a quarter right here, guys. So, how quickly can this market move? Uh, ideally, we need to have a sharp drop. The sooner it happens, the higher the valuation of these options is going to be. They do expire, guys, in the next 30 minutes. Now, do not attempt to do this on your own without understanding the moves. And there it is, 35.87. Let me show you how quickly they kind of change. Now we're up 34, 36K for the day, making 13K on this position right here. Suddenly, the market value in this is 21k. Now, this is going to fluctuate rather rapidly, and uh, basically, we're trying to get to 35.84 was our target for the day. So, what we want to do is we actually want to start selling. We want to start selling. Start selling. Again, we want to start selling. Now, of course, we can drop quite a bit lower, but uh, let's go ahead and just sell 15. Sell 15 at market right now. 15 at market. 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 Right now. Start selling just 15 at market. 5.5. Okay, good. All right, let's take another 15 off the table. Sell another uh, 15 off the table right now. Market. Let's wait a little bit. Glance at the chart. We're at 35.87. Okay. We can make another move, another 10 point move. We can actually get below 35.84. That would be absolutely beautiful. So let's wait just a few minutes. We've got plenty of time. Plenty of time, guys. 3.32 p.m. 3.32 p.m. 13 market moves. This is a classic move six type of scenario, guys. If you don't know how to calculate a move six, make sure you click the link below this video. So move six formation gets us $11,523 in profits in the last 30 minutes of trading. Actually, less than that, guys, in the last like 21 minutes of trading. So what is it going to be? How high can we take account to in the next 28 minutes here? So, small bounce, a little bit of stolen action, normal. Things are normal. We're about to make another. Look, we there's a chance, there is a high probability chance we will actually dive under 3584, which would be highly significant. And in that case, I mean, things can run really wild right now uh, in that case. So, uh, actually, I uh, want to go ahead and sell instead of these 15, right? So, 11 and a quarter, we want to sell maybe. 13.5 uh, on these 15 right here. So we've got 55. So we've got a limit order to sell uh, 35, 11 and a quarter, 15. So that's five. So we've got five. So I'm going to sell five at a market right here, guys. Five at a market. We're just going to put this market thing. I'm just going to glance at the chart. And so right now we're about 35.88. So we hit that 
584 level right here, 3585. 3584, 85, and we're bouncing, and we're bouncing right now, so we should have sold more, but look, still got 27 minutes remaining in the trading session here, guys. Uh, there's still a probability we will reverse and move lower. No, 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 3590, 3591. Okay, so we should have been closing a lot more of the contracts when we dip down there, so we're going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to wait to about, we're going to wait about nine minutes, guys, nine minutes. Diamonds can make us thousands of dollars. This is where understanding the time frames of the intraday entries and exits with 13 market moves will either turn you into a rock star or a guy that's going to go uh, and cry to his girlfriend or wife tonight. Honey, I don't know what the fuck happened. Oh, this fucking market. So don't be that fucking guy. Okay, learn to trade. Let me show you how it's done right now. And the truth is, anybody can learn how to do this, guys. Okay. So plus 32k, that's fine. Collect a little bit of profits right here. Okay, lock some profits in. So got 30,757 in cash. And uh, we've got about 10 grand. We can still potentially double that. We can still potentially double that. 55 contracts in the next 25 minutes. So the question is, can we do it? Stay tuned. We're gonna review the trade shortly. And four minutes later, 3.36 p.m., November 18th, and we are at 3583. And where would you guess the account is at? Yes, making 46K for the day at this point on the 55 remaining puts. We're making 22K, guys. 30 market moves. Pace to know them. Not just the moves, but the sequences and understand that the intraday's entries and exits of the day. Up 52K for the day. It is time to collect just a few more profits right here. We've got some limit we're sitting at 13 and a half, six and a quarter, collecting as you see, I can adjust them just a little bit, 35, 78, we broke a key level, so we just gotta be a little bit patient right here, things are moving, and all you gotta do is breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. We're about to close this out. Got 23 minutes remaining. Breathe in, breathe out, guys. Breathe in, breathe out. Got to know how to trade to move six. Order Pull cancel. these off. And they're selling my stuff. Oh, damn it. They're liquidating my positions. All right. Well, not much I can do about that. Make 27 grand. Look, they are selling my stuff. You're going to see some limit orders flying in here. Look, they've canceled out my limit orders. And they're selling me a 10 box on the 3590 puts right now. Got six left. We got officially 55K, 55,187. Still got about six puts right here that they left out. Um, and so those are still have a market value of 28.72. So let's watch the chart. We're back to 35.82. Hey, not a bad close. They closed in out at the low so far. But, 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 we still got 22 minutes to go. So we actually go way, way lower. So what we're going to do, this is what we're going to do. Now, I don't recommend anybody does that. Okay, but in this particular circumstances, okay, this particular trading platform, they're not going to let you buy a lot of stuff. Okay, they're not going to let you buy a lot of stuff. You buy them in the money 49 minutes before the close. Or, I'm sorry, 22 minutes before the close. So this is what you got to do. This is what you got to do. Pay attention. Right here, right? We're actually gonna buy some out of the money stuff. Which clearly, you don't want to be buying out of the money stuff, guys. When the stuff is already dropping, it's a poor strategy. So you only want to use this with this particular broker, which is interactive brokers. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to get in your position. So with that said, be very close attention. What the hell we're gonna buy to do? So 3575, we're gonna buy puts. Let's see. They may still not let the trade happen, but we're gonna buy some. We're just gonna buy five just to test out the water, see if they we can even possibly get in on this trade right here. Let's see what's going on. And no, they won't let us trade this. Still got six contracts. Still got six contracts, guys. Gonna wait patiently. Hey, we got a limit order. No, we don't have a limit order set, so we're gonna just set this to sell and try to sell them at uh, about. So close out position six, about 16.25. All right. All right, so the limit order is in, so we'd have to dip actually to about uh, 35.74 to close these out at this price right here. 
Uh, now, the good thing is we still got plenty of time. We still got 20 minutes to go in this trading session, and we're moving really close to our target in order to execute this limit order. 3580, 3578. You can easily touch maybe 3572 at this point. Wouldn't be a surprise at all. And you'll hear an execution. Let me turn up the volume to make sure you guys can hear that. So typically when you sell with interactive brokers, uh, there's going to be like a little icon that's going to pop up right here. Uh, it's going to show you exactly what you're selling this stuff for. So 35.78. 35.76. Yeah, they did close me out a bit too early, but hey. You got to take the good with the bad. And VIX is spiking to intraday highs while the market is selling off. 19 minutes to go. All we got to do is dip another like six points and we're there. You should see. All right, let's go. Here's the move. Here is the move. Look, what I really wanted to do, I wanted to buy some gold boots. What a sound. Hey, we bought them at 15. Okay, so right as it was stalling out, we got a uh, position of about four gold puts. Um, they're way deep in the money, about 18, 80 puts. And so this uh, order is switching out. So... Still got 15 minutes to go. Still expecting a drop here under 35.76. Got plenty of time to make that happen. 12 minutes to go. Let's focus here. So this is going to dip, and we got a limit order sitting at 16. So and it's about to get executed. Watch this. So as uh, this basically hits this level right here, 35. We're dropping out of two points. You're going to see this thing show up right here telling you that we got to fill at 16 and a quarter. Now remember, we're buying these things for $2.30. That's almost an 8x return under an hour, guys. Under an hour. Under 60 minutes. The only way you can pull this off is by thoroughly understanding the 13 markets move formula, meaning understanding the moves, understanding what they are, but you also have to get an in-depth understanding on the entries and exits. And this is what's going to give you the confidence to stay with the trades, not jump too earlier, understanding the foundations, basically understanding how to steer step, when to actually do that. Okay, and maintain your gains throughout the day. It doesn't mean you're going to nail every entry, every top and bottom for the day. Nine minutes to go in the trading session, and we're likely to hit that 3570 level. As a matter of fact, what a fill. See, uh, 16 and a quarter. So, uh, 16 and a quarter is where we got it filled right as the market was making this right here. Done. 51530 bucks for the day. Now, we started yesterday uh, with uh, four grand, guys. So, the account is at 60K, 6400 as you can see right here. Now, if you basically are missing the math here, okay, you take the $49,816 in cash, you add the 13 gold puts that we've got in the 1855 strike. They're currently worth $4,230. You add the ones we got in the money on gold puts. In the 1880 strike, they're currently worth 6120. You add this number plus this number plus this number, you will arrive very closely to this number right here, guys. Okay, this is how it's done 13 market moves, another day taking 4k into $60,500. Guys, do yourself a favor, stop focusing on making 100, 200, 500 dollars a day. That's not the way to trade. That is certainly not the way to trade consistently, guys. When the market gives you an opportunity to go and make 50K in one day, you should go for it. But the key is to identify which days do you do that on. And if you struggle with identifying those days, click the link below. Schedule a 20-minute coaching call so you can get a better understanding on simple, small things that will take your trading to the next level. With that said, I'll catch you guys on the next trade. Let's rock.